Let's now take a look at file publishing, or publishing files to the web folder, which can also be uploaded to the web. So in Radiologic DJ's preferences on the publishing pane, we have this checkbox for files. What we can do is show the folder for that, which will take us to the Radiologic folder in the Music folder, in which there is a web folder. And in here, different files are saved out, but what we're concerned with is reading template files that get read and their replacement tags are replaced with actual metadata. So I just opened up a template file here, here in TextEdit, just a plain text document. And in here we see a bunch of replacement tags. I have some constants in here. These are just telling me which song in the past or what song in the future. Here's what's current. And these replacement tags get this entire file is read by Radiologic DJ when a track changes. And what's written out is the actual metadata, the constants, the artist, the title, the album, etc., are all written out to this file. And this is the file that we can use to upload or do whatever we want to with. So those replacement tags, we go back to the publishing, pain and preferences. We can actually hit this question mark here for the reference on those. So all of these are described here and all the variations, etc. So we have some files to upload. Um, we also have artwork. And the artwork, if you have this checked, will actually save to the album art folder here. And you can decide what quality you want, both pixels and the quality level. I'd probably leave the quality level at 75, but you can go higher or lower. Most album art comes in around 400 to 600 by 600, something like that. Uh, you can reduce it uh, to what you want, so you can reduce the amount of uploading that actually takes place. So to upload this, we go to the Upload pane, and we can check what things we want to upload. So let's, we want to upload this file, and we just want to upload the current art. We'll be using that. Our web pages will be finding that and using that. So now we can put in the FTP server we want to upload to. And the path. I think in this case, the path is... I've just made a sample path for right now. Put in the password, username and password, and hit the test button. Let's see if this works. And we are successful. I'll bring over uh, the FTP folder here. And I'll do a refresh on this and see if the files made it. And it looks like they did. So here's the art. Now the song has changed since, and we haven't hit OK to this. But let's hit OK to this. Refresh the web again, take a look, and you can see that the art matches the track that's playing right now. And if we take a look at the data going out, we can see that this matches what is current here as well. So that is successfully uploading. Well, what if we have SFTP? So we just put an S in front of this. What I found is with SFTP being that it is a completely different protocol than FTP, uh, our landing spot uh, for the path is a little bit different, and I've found that I actually have to put in the absolute path here. So I'll do that. Well, let me show you what happens if I don't do it. And it failed. Okay, well that's no good. Okay, remote path not found. So let's do the absolute path. Hit test, and it succeeds. So that's uploading with both FTP and SFTP. So we'll leave that on for right now. 
So another use for file publishing is for getting metadata to another encoder called BUT. BUT actually stands for broadcast using this tool. Now I have it here downloaded and in the dock here. So in the previous video where we talked about Audiocast, a lot of the things are the same. So for instance, in order to get audio to BUT, just with, with like with Audiocast, we actually have to output to a virtual device or we have to go through a mixer and come back in. Because like Audiocast, BUT only accepts audio on an audio device input. Now for metadata for BUT, uh, we can't send directly to it via AppleScript like we can with Audiocast. Uh, so BUT actually wants to read a file. So this is where file publishing uh, is nice and comes in. So let's do this. Let's uh, bring up text edit, and we're going to create a simple metadata file for BUT. Let's go back to the help. Let's look at our reference for file publishing. And we see we need something like artist-title. So what I did is open text edit and make sure that it's not rich text. Rich text, you'll see the ruler here. That's the telltale sign. That'll save an RTF file if we save it. We want plain text. So we'll put in RL artist dash RL title. And then we will save this file. And we'll save this into the templates folder. So this we'll just name but. And you don't even need the extension on it, but I'll put, I'll put the extension on it. Save that. Now the next time that's going to get updated is when this next track actually changes here. So let's launch but and set up some of that. We'll wait for the track to change. I think but actually starts itself up automatically sometimes. It depends what you have the settings uh, set at. Uh, on the stream here, you can have it start streaming at startup. I actually have that off right now. So let's do some of the setup for but real fast. I'm not going to document everything about but, but, <laughs> but, um, but let's get, I can't stop saying but. Let's get uh, the metadata uh, for this as soon as that shows up. There, there it goes. Okay, we'll select that. And let's do a little bit of setup here. So on the audio, let's pick Soundflower 1. Uh, I've got an encoding for AAC Plus at 64K. And I've got a test server. I believe I have all this information entered previously. Save some stream info. Save. And if we go over here and hit the play button, it should connect to my IceCast server I have running locally here. Let's see. Looks like it did. So that's good. And with any luck, we can go over to iTunes now and see if we can actually hear this stream. So we'll open a stream, HTTP, local address, port 8000, I believe I also used the mount point of listen. So that appears to be working fine. And let's see if the titles come through. I might need to advance to the next track for but to actually grab it though, because it looks like it just has the URL right now. So let's go back to Radiologic DJ. And we'll fade down this track and go to the next one and see if but gets it. We're a little bit delayed because we're listening to the stream a little bit later than it's actually playing in real time. Oh, I know what I need to do. This is important. Turn on activate. Ha! There we go. We're all set. So that's what's playing right now. Back over here, we can see that the metadata made it. So and that's it.